Hello there learners and welcome to another video about Earth Science Grade 7. Nice. Now, let's go to the water forms in the Philippines. Now, not only is the Philippines home to a lot of beautiful landforms such as mountains, volcanoes, plains and hills and plateaus, it's also home to a lot of landforms in the Philippines. Sometimes in between islands and sometimes inside the islands themselves. So, let's go over the water forms in the Philippines. We have Rio Grande de Cagayan. This here is the longest river in the Philippines. You can search that up. This here is the longest river in the Philippines. A river is a large natural stream of water that flows toward an ocean. In Davao City, we have the Davao River. Okay, These rivers are fresh water. They are not salt water. Also, another thing to take note is that the source of water of rivers is the mountains. Okay? Um, rain goes to the mountains and they drip down. They go below the sides of a mountain. They go to the lowest point of the mountain. And then they all deposit, they all accumulate at a certain place. They drip down and then they eventually go to a river. So that is where the water from a river comes from. And also another thing to take note is that rivers have fresh water, not salt water. And eventually, a river goes out, it streams, and it flows towards an ocean to a sea or also another river. This here is also another famous tourist spot here in the Philippines. Lots of my friends have already gone here and soon maybe I will also go here. This here is the Aliwagwag Falls Eco Park. Right? It is a river and also a, a teeny tiny waterfalls over in Aliwagwag. It is also very, very famous over there. Also, the Philippines, specifically Mindanao, is home to a lot of waterfalls. Waterfalls can also be one of the sources of rivers. Now, waterfalls, of course, is a body of flowing water that drops from an elevation such as a steep area or cliff. Okay? Aliwagwag is um, also a very famous waterfalls. And of course, one of the sources of electricity here in Mindanao is the Maria Cristina Falls over in Iligan City. Okay? We also have the Pagsanhan Falls, one of the one of the very famous waterfalls over in the Philippines. And then this here is <clears throat> I'm sorry. This here is a lake. A lake is a large water form that is surrounded by land. This is also um, a very specific lake. This is also um, a fishery where fresh water fish usually um, um, usually lots of fishes are being grown here over this lake it is this lake has been transformed into a fishery where lots of fish again as i said are being cultivated and are being grown taal lake over in taal volcano is also one of the most famous lakes in the philippines lots of tourists go there made it and this here is the pinatubo crater lake wow what a beauty a beauty that caused so much destruction in the past. After such a long trek, we felt accomplished. Pinatubo Crater Lake. Yes, that was the Pinatubo Crater Lake. Also, the Philippines is home to a lot and a lot of coastlines and a lot and a lot of seas. One of the best tourist places here in the Philippines are, of course, seas. And let's watch this video about one of the world's famous, um, one of the world's famous seas or coastlines or also um, what you call that resorts in one of the most famous islands, Boracay Island. Best island in the world. One of the world's top beaches.
with the closure. The water is clear, the oceans are clean, and there seems to be a lot of wildlife returning. And we had for the first time in 10 years, we had but turtles hatching on, on the beach a couple of a couple of days ago, yeah, of course. And uh, we got another vlog here about salt smell of the ocean. About the Barak, about Barakai. Now, we are done. We also discuss waterfalls from the Philippines. We have a sea, we have rivers, we have lakes, and we also have waterfalls. And those were the landforms, waterforms, and parts of the locations of the Philippines.